literature lovers, Alicia Basham here, and I'm back, and we are doing a bookish box, and this one is for March 2023, I know, and it is the young adult one, and it's mesmerizing magic is the theme, okay, so here's the artwork. No. Oh. And if you hear any voices, that's my husband and my kids and stuff. So, all right. Uh, the artwork is, let's see if I can find it. Our April 2023 YA theme announcement by the esteemed Natalie Bernhardt features Lion Elias from an ember in the ashes. Okay. All righty. Next, let's see what this is bookish pin tassel pin tassel that's really pretty wait do I put pins on it that seems kind of weird I don't know I'm gonna have to look this up pin tassel this bookish pin tassel is a cute and fun way to showcase your love of pins by attaching it to either your purse or backpack to hang, switch out the pins as you please. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know, that's very interesting. There's like a bunch of holes on it, but I can't imagine like you being able to put more than like two pins on here maybe i don't know it's very interesting i don't know it's really nice though all right and next i see on top is our bookish box candle i do believe yep of course they always come with candle and air comes to rise inspired candle hmm. Spice, honey, and tonka. Ooh. That's pretty, and that's very heavy. Oh, I really wish there was smell -o vision Like, the smell of this, it's... I can smell the honey and, like, the tonka and stuff, but it's, like... Also got this uh, fruity smell that it's like really, I don't know why it's kind of almost reminding me of Fruit Loops a little bit. I don't know why, but yeah, that is very, very, very good smelling and I like the picture. But I'm going to have to look up and see an air comes to rise. Candle, set the mood for your next magical read with the spicy aroma of honey and tonka or citrus agave. That's why it smells citrusy. With one of our two six ounce candles offered, inspired by an air comes to rise by Chloe C. Pennard. Huh. I'm going to have to look, at that, look that book up because that really seems interesting all right next on top i see city of brass inspired book page holder Ooh, that is beautiful oh That is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I love it. Look at the cutout. I love it that it's wood and, oh. It's so pretty. I love that. Oh, that's so beautiful. All right, next on top I see a shirt. 
So let's see what shirt this is. Greetings from St. Vladimir's Academy. So St. Vladimir's is from the um, Vampire Academy, I do believe. Those books. Um, yeah, I was just looking at one the other day because I was kind of reading it. <laughs> but uh, I need to get the other ones. No. But yeah, isn't it? cute. I'm excited to wear that. Okay, next I see our pin and it is Poison Study Inspired Enamel Pin. Have a drink, my love. Poison Study. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Let's take a look at the enamel pin. Have a drink, my love. Maria V. Snyder, this poison study inspired enamel pin took our breath away, designed by the amazing at Bluey Bluey Boo retail value of $13. I like the butterfly and stuff on it. It's so pretty. But I'm going to have to look up that book. Poison study. Hmm. Interesting. Next, I see... What is this? Wanderlust Window Collection. Camp Half-Blood. Camp Half-Blood, we all know what that is. That's from the Percy Jackson series. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a little picture or like a little frame into like the world of Camp Half Blood. I love it. I like that there's a Pegasus on the top and one flying around. That's really pretty. Looks like it was painted on there too. So if that's hand painted, that's very pretty. And then like you can hang it up and everything or you can just set it. So, I don't, don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Probably put it on my bookshelf or something. But that's really cute. I like that. And then, last but not least, we have our book called These Bitter Blooms. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Take the cover off. I love that it's purple. All right, and then I will read the description, and it looks like the cover is reversible, too, almost. All right, so, these bitter blooms. Thea was not, oh, sorry, we got started at the top, eh. In a world where magic means power, a small gift is a curse. Thea was not blessed with power. Her gift of devouring plants and absorbing their hidden abilities does not make her stand out among her peers until a young man from the other side of the river sees something in her that no one else has seen before. When his family mercil mercilessly strikes at her pride, he makes a point to ease the sting. Alistair is not like his family. He has no interest in magic or wealth. He can see through the veil of the world into the fairy, fairy realm, and that has no use in his family. He never understood the desire to right 